Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. I had some extra time, so I wanted to record my video, 25 questions um, answered. And I did record this video a couple of nights ago, and trust me, I looked a lot better. Hair was cute, makeup was done up, and cute little top on. It was 45 minutes long, so I'm gonna have to cut out a little bit. I'm gonna go. Um, I have the questions typed out, photo, well, they were copied and pasted and printed from YouTube. Um, and I have them here, but I'm not going to reference the person who asked the question. There were a lot of repeats, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. And then um, probably not until next week, I'll do my December things I got couponing that I love and things I got couponing that I didn't love. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I got this question a lot. How do I organize my coupons? Right now, I am so embarrassed to admit that my coupons are trashed. I started off with the binder method, clipped every coupon, and I alphabetized it. Yeah, a little bit crazy. Then I went to the file box method where I would just file the entire insert by date, which I do like that method. And in fact, that's kind of what I'm doing now, but my coupons are a mess in my car, in a box, in my trunk. And then when I need them, they go in my car and they're in the front seat, in the back seat. It is embarrassing how disorganized I am right now. So at the moment, I am doing the, I'm not filing them by date. They're just a mess. But that is how I ideally would like to have my coupons. And they will get there. I will eventually organize them again. Um, I had a question about, I'm not going to get into the exact question, but somebody um, put that they thought that the coupon, the 4 off 20 coupons are PDF coupons. And I just want to make sure that we all are on the same page with that. 4 off 20 coupons are unique. They have unique barcodes on them and they can only be used once. If you try to use it more than once, it will beep at the register and say that it was already redeemed and it will tell the cashier the date that it was redeemed. So make sure you're only using them once. Um, let's see. How many papers do I usually buy a week? Um, I try not to buy any papers. Um, as you have seen in some of my videos, I try to use my CVS Extra Bucks. I try to use um, Register Rewards at Walgreens. Now that we have the cash cards at CVS, I will definitely be trying to use those because those are not linked to any particular card um, and they don't expire. Also, um, when we have the gas card deals, I try to use my gas cards. Now, I have an arrangement with one of my favorite cashiers at a gas station local to me where she will save all the inserts from the unsold papers and give them to me in exchange for some freebies that, you know, I get free anyway, couponing. But recently, um, I, there haven't been much, many, not much, many papers left, if any. So when that happens, um, I usually try to get a few newspapers on Sunday morning. Like my husband, we have a cap. My husband will spend $5 on newspapers for me first thing in the morning um, when he goes to golf because he golfs really early on Sunday mornings. And then depending on what kind of coupons I see, I can kind of pretty much judge whether the papers are going to sell out or not. And then that's when I decide whether to use my store rewards or just wait. And there have been times where I've waited and I've been you know, kind of mad at myself for waiting because then I haven't gotten the coupons that I wanted. So that's what I do. And I suggest you do the same. Try not to come out of pocket. Try to find someone where, you know, at a gas station, make friends, do a little deal exchanging for your freebies, etc. Um, people ask, a lot of people ask, how did I come up with my nickname and what does it mean? Um, nothing fancy. I'm not from the Caribbean or the Bahamas or anything like that. Um, I live on Hilton Head Island. When I started my YouTube channel, I wanted it to be about couponing. I knew that for sure. And I'm a girl. So that's Island Coupon Gal. That's just how it came out. And it was like not even a whole lot of thought put into it. So yeah. Um, let's see. Do I work full time? I had a lot of this question. Do I work full time? Do I work with numbers, etc.? I am a full time mom, stay at home mom at the moment. Um, and I give you guys credit, all y'all out there who have full-time or part-time jobs, you're full-time moms, you um, coupon, you have extracurricular activities, I have to give you some props. I have so much respect for you because right now, it's I can't imagine having anything else on my plate because I have... I feel like I have a full life. Now, my little one, he's four. He's going to be going to kindergarten. Well, preschool, soon, head start, I guess you could call it. He's on the waiting list, first on the waiting list. So when he does that, um, I'll get into that in a little bit. But um, I will be having some changes in my life, and hopefully that won't affect my couponing. I don't think so, because it is such a huge part of my life. I can't imagine it not being a part of my life. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I think of couponers that sell their stockpile? I honestly don't have a strong opinion about that. It's theirs, so they can do what they want with it. Personally, I've never sold anything from my stockpile. Um, I actually don't keep much of the things that I buy. 
Um, I got another question. People asked to see my stockpile. I will show you that. Um, right now, I live in a gated community, and you, when you want to build or change anything from the structure of your house, i.e., if you want to prune trees, if you want to change anything about the appearance of your house, you have to take it in front of the board of the Homeowners Association and get approval. And the reason I'm telling you that is because we submitted to build a... Um, little stockpile shed in a courtyard that I have fenced in. You really can't see it from the road, but we were kind of worried about the sh the um the roof, like the shingles or whatever being visible from the road. So right now my stockpile is kind of all over my house and I do want to condense it and consolidate it into one area. So when that is, you know, whenever that happens, I will absolutely show you my stockpile. If that doesn't happen, then I will show you my stockpile in the different areas in my house. But quite honestly, you will be shocked at how little I keep 10% and that's probably highballing the estimate because I give so much away. Back to the question of what I think about people who sell their stockpiles. It's theirs. They can do what they want. But me personally, I have so much that I give it. Anybody in my life that knows me, they benefit from my couponing as well. I donate a ton. I give, you know, I give it to people in my family, my friends. I stockpile for my mom. I mean, there's just so much turnover in my house. I keep very little, but I don't sell it but I mean I really don't care either way I don't have a strong opinion about people who do that do what you want um let's see had the question about how do I organize for a shopping trip I actually had a video um several months ago I made a video about how I prepare for my CVS haul like going through the ad doing coupon matchups how I actually execute my shopping plan at CVS I went back and rewatched that video I think it was ultimate coupon lady asked if I ever did a video like that and I have but it did contain a lot of outdated information in it, and it would be very tedious for me to link that video. So I will do an updated version of that solely based on, like, just vague, generic information that could be apl applicable to any sale week. So I will show you guys how I do that. Um, somebody asked where they could find the Reinventing Beauty at CBS. Reinventing Beauty Magazine at CVS. Um, it varies. At the front of the store where the sale ads are located, some people find them there. I have found them in the cosmetic section where the new displays are, kind of tucked on those shelves. People have found them back in the magazine area. You're really going to have to ask your store and ask them where they house it because I think it varies from location to location. What state do I live in? I live in South Carolina, but I am from Pennsylvania. Do I like traveling? Yeah, I do uh, because I know why I'm traveling. I know I'm getting to see my family. I'm going to have a great time usually. Um, the driving part does get tedious because it is such a long distance, but I usually break it up into two halves and try to stay overnight in a hotel halfway, and that definitely breaks it up. So yeah, I don't mind it. Um, how did I get so many ECBs in the beginning? Did I have to spend money out of pocket? Not at CVS. CVS was really easy to obtain um, ECBs and grow them without much out of pocket at all. Now Rite Aid, um, I made some mistakes at Rite Aid in the beginning where I spent way too much out of pocket. Um, Walgreens, the same thing. I was My subtotals were really high and I didn't realize that I did not have to pay for that stuff. But CVS is by far, to me, in my opinion, the easiest store to coupon at and make money at quickly starting with no ECBs. Now we've all been there um, but you have to utilize the money makers when the money makers are around you have to capitalize on them follow all the good names on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to sit and name them but one of the greatest um, YouTubers that have like the smaller transactions so that you can roll your ECBs from one to the next is Pinching Pennies 2011 because obviously I'm at a point now where I don't have to split up my transactions. I can do them all at once because I have enough ECBs to cover my out of pocket. But you're not going to want to do that if you only have $10 in ECBs and, you know, your transaction is requires you $60 out of pocket in ECBs. You obviously do not want to pay $50 in cold hard cash, even if you get back $1,000 in ECBs. You want to start where you have the least amount out of pocket, get your ECBs back and roll to your next transaction. And you will get to the point if you keep up at it long enough that you will have enough to cover your out of pocket. And then you'll have ECBs to play with so you can go burn some if you need to, like at the holidays time or birthdays or just if you need something that you're out of. But hopefully stockpiling will keep you from completely running out of anything. But um, yeah, let's see. How do I keep so organized from week to week with my hauls? I am flattered that you guys think I'm organized because I feel so disorganized right now. And I believe it's because Things aren't in order as far as like my coupons aren't in order. My rain checks are everywhere. I keep finding them tucked away places and red box coupons. I have so many freaking red box coupons saved and there's no method to that madness. They're just 
in a pile, in a stack, in a bag. I mean, they're just everywhere. But I do try to present my hauls to you in an organized manner so that they make visual sense to you. So as long as you guys are getting what you need out of my hauls, that's great. I'm glad you feel that I'm organized, but personally, I feel so disorganized. And I mean that, that I could be more organized and it would probably make my life easier. Um, let's see. How long have I been couponing and what made you want to do it? Um, I started couponing last year in February. I believe that's when my YouTube channel started. And so it's been almost a year. And I started doing it, I answered this question in another tag video that I was on YouTube looking for like something to do, like do it yourself. And I stumbled upon some couponing videos and it just was at the perfect time in my life we actually needed the help. And then it just became a lifestyle. And it just went from there. Um, do I like it when a couponer uploads a haul video, shows the items, gives the amount spent and or saved, but never mentions the actual deal construction? I can appreciate different types of videos. I myself do my videos that way because I feel like anyone could come in and listen to how I break it down. I'm telling you how, what, how much it costs, what coupons I use, what I paid and what I got back only because I want to give you that information. But that's just me. Someone else may not feel that it's necessary to make a 15 minute long video talking about every itty bitty detail. But that's my opinion. Um, they might think that it's, it's like, easy, you know, a no-brainer to just look at what they've got and realize, hey, that's right, we did get a coupon a couple weeks ago for that, and yeah, it's on sale this week, and duh, put two and two together, there's an ECB back, and figure it out on their own, but I'm just from the the thought place that I'd like to hand it to you as best I can to explain to you what I did, how I did it, why I did it, and what happened. That's, you know, that's just the mindset that I have. Um, what inspired you to coupon? I think I kind of answered that a little bit already. And do I do it for fun or is it, and is it ever not fun or too time consuming? It is never not fun. Even doing it a year, I still love every second of it. I really do. When I come home with all this stuff that I paid next to nothing, if not anything for and got money back and I have all this stuff that I can give away or keep to have, it feels so good. And to be able to share that stockpile makes me feel even better. Um, too time consuming. I think at first I spent way too much time chasing every single deal at every single store. That was me at the beginning. And right now I can pick and choose what I want. And I tend to concentrate on CVS. I don't want you all to think I'm just a one trick pony though. I do tear it up at other stores, but only when I feel like it's really, really worth it. I feel like right now I can get most of what I need at CVS, if not everything, aside from like groceries. There are just some things that CVS does not carry, like fresh fruit and, and meat and stuff like that. But for the most part, anything I could need or want is pretty much at CVS. So that's what I focus on. And that's where I build my stock of ECBs and store credit and all that good stuff. And I concentrate on that. Now, I do do a little bit of Rite Aid and very occasionally Walgreens since they changed over to the point system. But I mean, a money making deal, I'll go anywhere, right? Okay, I think I answered that, I hope. And as far as my inspiration for couponing, I was I stumbled upon it on YouTube and it just made sense because at that time in my life, it was just like clockwork. I mean, it just, it all fell into place. It was like fate, I guess. Okay, um, do I profile cashiers in store locations? Yes, because I know certain store locations, they might have what I want, but I know it's gonna be a hassle, so I avoid it. Or I know that, um, that particular store, if it's on, if it's not on sale, I know it's going to cost more. So I'll go to that store if it's on sale, but I know what I can and what I can't do at that store. Bigger stores, obviously with, you know, in a, a location that is like maybe city, I know that it's going to be in and out quick and you know, they see a lot of turnover and they see a lot of people. So maybe the experience isn't as personalized, but then that's also a con. So maybe you don't get to know them on a personal level. I feel like a smaller store, you have a more personalized, you know, kind of experience. However, um, smaller towns, obviously, maybe they haven't had as much experience with couponers, so they have some sort of predisposed, like, bias against couponers because they haven't seen it as much, or they don't have the stock that I need, or whatever. There's pros and cons to each type of store. Now, cashier profiling, I usually go for the younger male, but that has blown up in my face plenty of times where 
I mean, I, I think you can successfully profile sometimes, but other times I'm just, I think in honest, all honesty, it's just the luck of the draw. And I think a huge part of couponing is building a relationship with the store. I'm a huge advocate with that because how else are you going to build a relationship where they're going to feel trust in you that, that you, they know that if a coupon beeps, they will push it through because they know you're the type of couponer who has that item and it just happens to be an error in coding in that coupon or whatever. Um, let's see. How did I meet my husband? Um, I actually rented a condo. I subletted, I sublet a condo from him when I was 18 and we kind of got to know each other and like a year later we started dating. So yeah, that's how. Um, where do I get all the energy with a young one? Red Bull? Yep, you got it. And it's weird because I have a lot of energy anyway and I don't sleep a whole lot, but I honestly think my Red Bull helps focus in that energy on productive stuff because otherwise it's just a bunch of like misplaced energy where I get very sidetracked. I start a ton of projects and never really finish them and it's like out of control energy and I feel like Red Bull kind of harnesses that. Weird, I know, but it just, it is what it is. Um, what does my stockpile look like? I've had a ton of questions about that and I think I answered that and I will be showing you guys, but as I said, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed if you're looking for like a huge like five bedroom stockpile. It's very small, but I will show it to you. Um, do I have any hobbies besides couponing? I love to read. I don't watch much TV anymore because I'd rather watch YouTube videos or listen to YouTube videos, but I do a lot, a lot of reading. And I mean a lot of reading. And that's just always been a passion of mine because I feel like I spend the whole day talking to a little person and like all the subject matter is four-year-old subject matter and I feel like that's how I keep my brain sharp, I guess. Um, let's see. Moni Valesti, I gotta call you out by name, girl, because you are just the cutest thing ever. I just love you. Okay, she asked me a couple of questions and I'll answer them all. Um, let's see. Did I go to high school? Or I'm sorry, did I graduate high school? Yes. Did I go to college? Yes. What was my major? Child psychology. Um, how old am I, Moni? I'm 32. Um, and then she said something so sweet. She asked me if I'm really that beautiful person in real life or am I really a grout? And I think that is so sweet because I guess you see me when I'm happy because couponing makes me happy. And I'm glad that you guys get to share that with me. I don't want to share all the negativity of when I have a migraine and when things don't go right. I mean, I, we still share that because it's reality. It's what happens. But I'm glad for the most part that you find me a positive person and for the most part I am but I'm just I'm a I'm happy to be able to share that with you and hopefully it makes your day a little bit brighter too I don't know I'm not trying to sound like a freak or anything but you know what I mean um do I love the Carolinas yes I do I just don't like being so far away from my family but it is just like a two-day drive away <laughs> um do I have a bunch of girlfriends not so much here but at home, I guess so, yeah. But honestly, here I haven't met a whole lot. I have my sister-in-law, and she's got a lot of friends, and that's how I've networked. But, like, not people that I hang out with on a daily basis. It's just a different life. I'm sure you know. Moni, you're a, you're a mother, and you know how it is. And then when you're a couponer, what free time do you have? But I don't mind it. I am a very family-oriented person, and that's how I choose to spend my time. So I don't go out. I never go out, actually. Um, just not right now. Anyways, um, I actually was asked if I am Hispanic and I have to say that is such a huge compliment because I find the Hispanic culture to be beautiful and exotic and just, wow, thank you so much for that compliment. But no, I'm not. Um, uh, my mom's Lithuanian and my father is Italian. So I'm a little bit of a hodgepodge of both. <laughs> um, how long have my husband and I been together and do I want more children? My husband and I met, like I said, when I was 18. We started dating when I was 19. We were off and on for several years, and we've been married for 10. This year will be our 11th wedding anniversary. So he has been a part of my life since I was 18, and as I told you, I'm 32. So we've been together off and on for a long time and married for 11 years almost. Do I want more children? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, I would, but... Uh, 
I'll have to get back to you on that, okay? <laughs> I would love a hundred children, but just right now, with the way my husband's work is, um, which is another question. Somebody asked what my husband does for a living. He builds golf courses, and that's why we came to this area. His family just happened to be in this area as well, but we came to this area because he builds golf courses, and this area also happens to have a lot of pre-existing golf courses that he can work on, finish, refinish, you know, add on to whatever he does. I know what he does, but there's a lot in, there's a lot entailed in what he does. But, um, right now there's always a chance of moving. So I just don't like the idea of bringing a lot of kids into that moving back and forth environment. But that's just me because, um, it's hard with, without a support system. And I just feel like right now I'm content with the way things are. So, <laughs> I just went way, way too much into detail for a very simple question. Sorry. I'm a little like that. Let's see. Um, what store do I like the most or least? I think it's kind of obvious that CVS is my baby love. Um, Walgreens is probably my least favorite, not only because of the coupon item ratio, but I have to pay so much freaking tax. I hate it. My state in particular, we pay tax on everything food, medication, medical supplies, everything that it seems like no one else has to pay tax on. So it really stinks. Um, I got this question a lot. Where do I get my coupons and how many CVS extra care cards do I use? I use two at the moment, mine and my husband's. There was a brief time where I had three because someone had a duplicate card and was using it of mine. Whenever we had the double buck sign up, I was issued a, a duplicate card. Someone got it. And was using it. So for a brief time until I spent all those ECBs up, I had to use those cards. Now I'm using the two cards. And my resolution is to pare down to one. But right now with all these cash card deals, it's just too good to pass up. Because they're not tied. The cash cards aren't tied to any particular card. Um, let's see. And someone asked if I do eBay. There are tons of regional coupons. So yeah, I, if I don't get a coupon in my region, I will use a coupon clipping service. I have one very close to me. So if I order on Tuesday, I get it on Thursday. It's Palmetto coupon clippers, but that in and of itself is an issue because if I didn't get the coupon nine times out of 10, they probably didn't get the coupon either. So yeah, I do use eBay to get coupons that are regional. Um, my mom sends me coupons when I need, but I try not to tax her too much because who wants to spend, you know, who wants to go buy 30 papers? Yeah, so anyways, um, and then I also had, let's see, there were questions about, did I answer the newspaper question? I don't know if I answered the newspaper question in this video because I've done a couple of takes on this. Um, did I do? Yeah, I did. I did answer that question already. Um, I had questions about why I don't do CVS ma matchups anymore. There were too many variables. People didn't get the same Redbox coupons. There were regional manufacturer coupons. Some stores don't accept expired uh, CVS coupons. Not all stores carry the same stuff. There are regional ads. Not all stores have everything you're looking for in stock. I mean, there was just so many different variables that used to piss people off. I actually had a question of, can I do a transaction once per week where it's coupons that everyone can use and that do not vary by region, like the AccuCheck Nano coupon, the Vario IQ coupon, no expired CVS coupons, and their store does not want to accept both store and manufacturer coupons in the same transaction. So here's the deal. You are going to have to take away from my hauls what you can because if I tried to satisfy everyone, I would have to do a thousand different scenarios for one thing. So you're going to have to pick and choose what deals you can do. I'm not going to not use an expired CVS coupon because you can't. Why would I not save that money? But that being said, I get where you're coming from. And that is why I stopped doing the CVS matchups because people got really upset when I'm saying to use, you know, four expired Redbox coupons or 10 expired Redbox coupons. People just got really, really upset about it. Or if I said your out of pocket's going to be like sixty bucks, but you're going to get back two hundred. Where are you getting sixty dollars in ECBs? Pinching pennies with Priscilla, and then watch what I do after I do my hauls, and take away with from it what you can, even if it's just a little piece of it. Maybe it helps you to form your transaction or your scenario, and you use the coupons that you can. Or if you can't do it, then omit it. But I will say this, I will very much try to make a conscious effort to put together some sort of small transaction maybe during the week, um, during some weeks where I think especially if it's a good money maker for very little out of pocket, I have done that 
recently, as a matter of fact, in December and November, I did a couple of blog posts where when we were doing the Gillette with the BOGO Gillette disposable coupon and stuff like that, since it was auto deducting, it was a huge, not huge money maker, but it was an easy money maker to build your ECBs. Hopefully you're able to watch my hauls, but I will definitely keep that in mind, but it's just a time issue right now. I really don't have a whole lot of extra time, but hopefully I can make an effort to satisfy more people on a more broad level. And I know I have a lot more subscribers subscribers so welcome to you all and thank you to all of my old subscribers thanks for hanging in there with me um let's see yuck if i won the lottery would i stop couponing heck no heck no what would i do if my stockpile disappeared or got destroyed i'd start all over again i mean it would suck but as i said i don't have a huge stockpile to begin with um I think that I'm almost out of time, guys, so I want to thank you all. Um, somebody asked me if I knew anybody at CVS or if I work at CVS myself. No, I only know the staff from couponing there. I've never worked there, and I don't know anybody that works there other than in that type of situation. But um, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. Um, maybe separate from like personal questions and separate like couponing questions because I thought this was fun and I mean some people don't want to hear anything about my personal life but they do want to listen about couponing and some people who you know want to hear about couponing also want to get to know me better and I would love to get to know you guys better so definitely do this tag I'm tagging everyone I know when I tag like generic people that nobody really responds so I may change my mind and tag people down in the description box as a matter of fact I may do that I may tag just a couple and hopefully you guys will you know, branch out from there and do the tag. I saw Soldier Girl do this, who referenced Brian at the SP Nation. Thank you so much for this tag. Thank you so much for your questions, your awesome comments. Um, I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.